Hi, how you doing? We're going to talk about domain and range of a line as opposed to a domain and range of points. If you notice on this line, I do have certain points highlighted, but that doesn't matter because a line is made up of a million a bunch of points, which means there are an infinite amount of points that I could have. Domain and range really represents all of the possible x values that your picture is covering, and the range covers all the possible y values that your picture is covering. So it has nothing to do with specific points sometimes, because that would be if we're talking about discrete data. And discrete data, I'm not talking about points in between anything. I'm just talking about those very specific points. So when I take a look at this line, what I want to notice is what are all the x values that are being covered? And there's two ways to think about this. You can write this answer as a mathematical sentence, or you can write it out as with mathematical notation. And what I mean by that is, if I take a look at this graph, Remember that domain is the set of all possible x values. And in this particular um, function that I have up here on the board, it has all the possible x's. So I need to look all the way to the left. So when I read this graph, what is the very smallest x value I have? And in this case, you find it's when x is equal to negative 2. So now we need to look at, do I have any x values smaller than negative 2? And no, my line here stops at x equals negative 2. So that is the smallest value. I then follow along. If you notice, there are no breaks in my line. So there are, I don't have to worry about saying that value doesn't exist on this line. But I keep going, and I find that I go all the way to this point. And the farthest right my graph, my graph goes, and please remember, it's the farthest right that my graph is going for the domain. So from left to right. I find that the x value here is positive 2. So the way I can talk about this is two ways, like I said. It is one, you can use the mathematical sentence, and the other one, you can use the mathematical equation. So the mathematical sentence that I'm going to use is simply stating all x values are between negative 2 and 2. And that's all I need to state. If I write that out, that is my domain. And the way that I can show that with a mathematical equation is such as using a compound inequality, where I start to say that, okay, all of my x values have to be greater than some value and smaller than some value. So if I take a look here, if I move right on my graph here, if I stick my finger and start moving right, please note that the x values are getting larger. But if I were to come over here and put my point finger on the point all the way to the right, and I start moving along the line, they are getting smaller. So all of my x values are getting smaller than or equal to positive 2, or they are get, and, and, sorry, and they are getting greater than or equal to 2. So here is the mathematical sentence, uh, equation, and here is the sentence. They mean the same thing. So if you aren't a person who is very good at remembering the notation, then you need to remember that you're stating that all your x values are just in between these two values. Same thing with the range, but what I want you to know with the range is just because I chose this value and this point, it doesn't mean I get to choose the same points. I might, it might happen to be that, but what I need to look for is the smallest y value that my range of data covers. And in this case, my smallest y value is down here. And the smallest y value is negative 1, so y here is negative 1. If I were to choose this point, please note that it's 0. But I have numbers that are smaller than 0, so I want to write this sentence as being in between the smallest y value and the largest y value. So what I now need to look for is, because the y-axis goes up and down, is what is my highest point. So I found the lowest point, I now need to find the highest and find out what its y-coordinate is. So I come up here and I find that y is equivalent to 4. So now, if I want to, I can write this two ways. So the range, again, I can say is all, all y values, okay? So I can talk about this now as saying that all y values, let me use the green, all y values are between uh, negative 1 and 4. And then that's the sentence. So now I have the statement, all y values are between negative 1 and 4. If I want to write it out with the mathematical uh, notation, it is negative 1 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 4. 
And what I want to show you is that's true. If I were to pick any point on this line, it is going to either be greater than negative 1, and it is also going to be less than 4. So if I were to put my finger here, that is when y is 2. I don't care about the x at this point. I'm just worried about the range. My finger here, it's 2. So if I take a look, 2 is smaller than 4 and bigger than negative 1. So that's just to show you the proof that I don't need to list them here. And you actually can't because there's too many to list. So that right there is how you write out the uh, domain and range for a line. Okay.